This is the last step where we discuss the Android app that we shall be using in this project. This is Android app that we have written with .NET MOI in C Sharp. I shall explain its solution explorer although this is not a part of this course. But I will explain it so that you have a basic understanding of what is going on. This app has been uploaded on Google Play Store also. This is the link that you can take note of and this link is connected to location core to location core dot azure websites dot net this is connected to that this link is available on the home page of this location core dot azure websites dot net and this is the android phone view that you must already be familiar with let me now straightway come to the solution explorer of this project. This project is in .NET MOI so it will not compile straightway. You will have to go to get tools and features. And I will just set its size. So that you can see. This workload .NET MOI platform app UI development, multi-platform app UI development, this should be installed on your Visual Studio. You can tick mark it and then you can install while downloading. It is already installed on my computer. So that is why it will compile. So this is the first thing that you should do. And now let us understand the various parts of this project. So let us double click and open it. This is like the program.cs file and here this is the thing that I have added a notification channel has been added channel.set sound this will remove the sound the notification sound in this case the notification sound will be there so you can customize it if you want and after that everything has been retained as usual. Then we have app.shell.xaml.cs In this case In this case we have In this case we have added this uh, If string if uh, preferences they contain the credentials Then the home page will be shown directly Otherwise the login page will be shown to the user We are storing the credentials of the customer of the user in the preferences and they are held under the key called credentials and after this we have this app.xaml.cs this has been retained whatever was given to me by the template then we have the login page so when the login page opens a pairing code is randomly generated this function is in the end it is being randomly generated and then when OK button is clicked contacting control panel and in that case a web API request is sent to location API get credentials with the pairing code. You can have a look at the web API chapter that I have done in this project. This control panel address is defined here your location core dot azure websites dot net so the request will go to your control panel online you can change it to whatever when you host your application somewhere else and after that if internet is not there then these are all status messages and if the login succeeds if the server responds with ok then credentials key will store the whatever credentials are sent by your server you can have a look at on your server it will send a string that string is stored in credentials and the user is taken to the main page and after that we have this main page on this main page the user is shown two buttons ok button is for pair uh, is for is for starting the tracking process and cancel button is for stopping the server so this will stop the server and otherwise depending on the radio button these radio buttons are for 10 second 
30 second and 120 second those three radio buttons that you see uh, on the opening screen so depending on that a parameter is set and then ch permissions are checked and the uh, service is started and finally you have code for your service in the and i have done it for android only ios etc have not been done because i don't have expertise on that so android and this is the main service which is important this is the foreground service where most of the task is taking place you can uh, study it in your leisure time and it is making a web api calls to your server so journey id etc it will post uri to create journey this uri is actually created in the starting you can study this all and here somewhere this uri is created this is the uri moi program dot control panel address it sends a web api request to post create journey so likewise all the web api requests are made and this is how the whole project has been uh, woven you will have to compile this project yourself by taking help from the internet this project can be compiled into apk also and into bundles also so for that detail you will need an expertise of android operating system and this is uh, the way i have done i have already uploaded so i'll close it right now thank you